Hey friends, it is cold outside. In fact, it is so cold that it's supposed to snow tonight. Um, it's not gonna stick, but I bet you tomorrow morning I will see white stuff on the ground. There'll be frost. So I'm gonna come out and check on all the plants, see if there's anything that needs to be covered up. And hopefully, hopefully this is the last hurrah for Michigan. Look at my chicken lettuce, isn't that doing good? And these guys over here, so good. This mustard is so pretty. Hey girls, what's up? Yarrow, you guys want a snack? Sure, hold on a second, I'll get you a snack. What is going on? Let's check out our egg situation here. Ooh, I will take it. Thanks, ladies. The peas are looking really, really good. They're getting nice and long. They're getting tendrils. And I'm just going to keep encouraging those tendrils. I'm not necessarily going to do anything like wrap them around, but I am going to keep pulling them up and maybe encourage them to kind of hang on to this. Otherwise, they're going to come down like this one is. See how these ones are getting all clumped together? Can you let me zoom better that way? See how they all start tangling each other? What you'll end up with is a tangled mess of peas instead of a nice long row of peas. So I'm going to go through and just get these guys attached. Okay, so you can see I just put those tendrils around there. I didn't tie them off. I just kind of wound them around. I gave them a place to hang their little feelers because that's what they want. They want to go ahead and wrap around something. So if I give them something to wrap around, they'll wrap around these instead of each other. This is by far the best crop of spinach I've ever gotten. Spinach here for the win. And radishes to be really honest. This one looks funny. I don't know why it's that color. But chartreuse? Huh. I wonder if I get a random different kind in there. But look at that spinach. All this will be just fine, even if it gets snowed on. My peony plants have successfully lived another week. Yay. You guys tell me I'm not the only one that thinks that water puddling on plants is so pretty. Oh, look at that tulip back there. Welcome to my garden. Over here, I got baby pea shoots coming up. Do you see them all? They will be just fine. There's some more. There's some more. You see them all right there? There's tons and tons of peas. Hopefully they should have little sprouts underneath them and they should all be popping up pretty soon. Any kind of volunteer plant, like all these calendula that keep coming up every year, or even this yarrow that self seeds, they can always take, I guess I shouldn't say always, most of the time they can handle a freeze with no problem. They're just such strong, hardy seeds. Look how beautiful that is. That bright green color. Ugh, I'm so ready for color, guys. I've been watching this tulip for days now. Isn't that gonna be pretty when it opens up? Just so different. I love it. Hey, dude. Are you living in my garden? You're welcome here as long as you eat bad stuff and leave the good stuff alone. He's going to live here in the sweet woodruff, which is starting to flower. Every year in the early spring, it starts to make these little flower heads. That one's almost open. It's really pretty. Oh, here's another one up here, almost open. Okay, these are going to be gorgeous when they open. Look how many tulip heads there are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's just going to be gorgeous. Oh, I got some snapdragons. Look at that. That iris. This corner is going to be gorgeous. Okay, here is something that might get hurt if it's snowed on. These are sunflower seeds. Remember we planted those? Some of these are volunteers. Some of them I planted. They might not do well. There's not a ton of them up yet. Those might be volunteer ones. Look, there's some more back here. There's a whole bunch of zinnia up here. These seeds 
if they're up out of the ground enough and it gets cold enough and stays cold for a long enough time, they might sustain some damage over here. But we're just gonna close or cross our fingers and hope for the best. And in the meantime, look at how pretty these dang tulips are. These ones are gorgeous. Oh, this one's almost open. Ah, they're so pretty. Darlings, I just love you. Oh, look at these ones down here. These are gonna be white. Those are pretty too. They've got the prettiest leaves with like the pink edges on them. Yes, chickens, I hear you. So pretty. All right, here's a close up of my lawn. This is what's going on in my lawn right now. Wild violets. Dandelions. Giant patches of tall grass. The neighbors are all going, when are they gonna mow their lawn? But look at all of these flowers here for my early spring bees. Hey, honey. Wild violets are so pretty. So pretty. I will trade my carpet of flowers for a green lawn any day. Also all over my yard. Clover. I planted tons of it last year. And I didn't see much last year, but this year, looks like it's taken off. The hostas are starting to untwirl. It looks like somebody has been eating them. I don't know who. All these cool weather crops I've got going are looking mostly really good. The ranunculus all look really good. You look so good. Celery looks good. These guys are all going to be just fine. Strawberries, we're going to be okay. Well, I hope that you guys all stay warm tonight wherever you are at. And we'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, with a little bit of sunshine. Have a good day.